London on all sorts of different uh, tours, whether it's walking or uh, on a coach and, uh, you know, enlightening people about our wonderful city. Let me introduce you to uh, Malcolm as well. He's our driver, at least for this stretch. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, then we've got another driver later on. So uh, what we're going to do is make our way down to the London Eye now. Uh, that is plan A. Um, we do know that there's been an accident close by. We're hoping that they've opened up the road now. Um, but uh, we will have to be quite flexible about our uh, travelling down there, if that's okay with you. Are you feeling fit and energetic today? Yes. Well, that's very good news as well, okay. Um, so, um, you know, we're going to do our best uh, to, the plan was to go right down there on the coach. We might have to maybe get off the coach a bit earlier and do a little bit of walking, or we may even uh, end up getting on the underground system, which is, of course is an experience, a real London experience in itself. Um, so we, we started up here really, uh, you've probably seen that we're close by to Paddington Station, which is actually just over here away to the left hand side. Paddington Station was the earliest of the uh, train stations that evolved in the 1830s and that whole area of Paddington evolved from that time. And many of the buildings around there, which are hotels today, actually started their lives as hotels, uh, whereas of course many, many a time it's the case that uh, you know, buildings have been converted from uh, older, you know, from, from other usage before. Have a look over here on the right. If you look through the trees there, you'll just about be able to see that there are some little tombstones there. Um, and this is actually a pet cemetery. That's nothing to do with that spooky book that you might might uh, might know. Um, it's a pet cemetery. I, I work a lot with French people, and very often they'll say to me, "How come we don't see any dogs in London?" You know, they love their dogs. If you've been to Paris, you'll often see people with a little, you know, little tiny dog with his head sticking out of a bag under their arm. Um, we love domestic animals as well. It's just that people that have uh, dogs tend to live a little bit further from the centre of London. The centre is mainly a commercial area and uh, Londoners tend to live in the boroughs surrounding it. If we're talk talking about Greater London, we're talking about uh, an area of about uh, 1,600 square kilometres. We've got 8 million people living here. Um, so it's divided up into administrative areas, which are called boroughs. Um, there are 31 of those plus two cities, or some people like to say 32 boroughs and one city, the city of London, which is the financial district where it all started, and that's the busy financial uh, district over in the east of central London. 